Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our A4E Skyhawk and we're looking at waypoint navigation. Now it's got a pretty early but also pretty cool waypoint navigation system on it. It can only handle two waypoints but that's going to probably be okay for most missions. So starting in the mission editor here just to show you how to set the waypoint. So we've got our aircraft already set here and then we're going to go to add and we're going to set a waypoint say uh, there and ensure that add is still on and we're going to set another waypoint there. That'll do. I'm going to save that up from the mission. Okay, we're in our aircraft now. Let's look at the instruments we're going to be using. So this is the main navigation computer. I'm kind of surrounding it here in my mouse cursor. We've got here a master mode selector, which can have test, off, standby, or waypoint 1 or waypoint 2, D1, D2. Magnetic variation, which we are going to have to set here. We are in the Persian Gulf at the moment, which has a magnetic variation of 1.6 east. Take note that Caucasus has 6 degrees east. Uh, the Nevada testing range has 12 degrees east, and Normandy has 8 degrees east. So we'll set that in a minute. Also, we have the destination, i.e. the waypoint position here, shown that's our northing, that's our easting, and adjuster knobs. We also have our present location, latitude, longitude, and our adjuster knobs here, and our speed and wind direction. We have a master switch here, the BDHI switch, I'm going to have to kind of lean over and see, to have this in navigation information show on our HSI, which is how the pilot sees the navigation information. We have to make sure this is switched, up, switched it up. And here we have our nav shown by both the needles here, as long as we're in nav computer selection of the BDHI needle. We'll also have our range shown here. It's off at the moment, and I believe it's, at least it says in the manual, that it has to be put in standby and left to warm up for five minutes. I've not actually seen that modelled. It just seems to work for me as soon as I put it in standby. But just be aware that is that may become a thing, and if so, then it's something you, you're going to have to put it into standby on your uh, cold start procedure. So let's get to work. Unpause. Let's just keep it in standby for now so it's turned on. We're going to put our magnetic variation on. We're going to use mouse scroll up and down, 1.6 easting for the Persian Gulf and what we can see here is our, again our current position here which we can adjust and our destination. Now, we haven't actually set a destination at the moment so I'm going to go right click on this mode selector here and we can now see D1. So that is our waypoint one that we set in the mission editor and that is the longitude and latitude of it. And now we switch to D2 and then you can see the longitude and latitude of that. Also we're supposed to set our wind and wind speed and direction assuming we're not using our radar which I would usually do but in this mission I've actually turned wind off so in this case it's going to be zero zero anyway. So let's go back to waypoint one and let's display it on our HSI so we're going to move our BDHI with a right click to the up position and now we've got navigation so we can see this needle is telling us to turn to 065 I think that is, it's in fact it's just off the nose conveniently and we've got a distance to that waypoint of um, hundreds, tens and single miles so about 12 and a half miles or 11 and a half miles that is, let's fly to that waypoint. So we're going to manoeuvre so that that needle is now pointing in exactly the 12 o'clock position so it's, that's us travelling towards that waypoint, speed up time a bit. Okay, we're a little bit closer now. We're three miles away from the waypoint. And we can confirm that by going into the map here, clicking on ourselves. You see, we're just a few miles away from the waypoint. We've had a change of heart, though. Waypoint two, we no longer want there. We now want it in this airbase. So we're going to change that waypoint from in the cockpit. So let's hover the mouse above here. And you can see that we've got the northing and easting information at the top left of the screen. So I'm going to write that down for northing 24, 14, 49, and easting 32, uh, sorry, 54, 32, 59. And we're not going to worry about the elevation. So next, let's jump back into our cockpit. Let's unpause. We are now going to go to waypoint 2 in our master mode. And we're going to change the longitude and latitude. So let me just double check that's north. Now, note here that we don't get as much detail as we do in other planes. We only get four digits. And east, we only get four digits. But essentially, the, 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 the first digit is superfluous. In easting, you always get an extra digit, basically. Uh, right, so we can use the mouse scroll to change it. So the first four digits are 2414. I'm just going to keep pausing it so I don't spank myself into the ground. Easting 5432. Okay, that's our set now. We are going to navigate now to our new waypoint 2. So we're going to turn left. You can see we are 12 miles away. Keep turning until that needle hits the 12 o'clock position. Uh, 
On we go. 10 miles away, speed time up. 3 miles away, slightly to the right. One mile away, and pretty much there. Pause that, check that we are where we set ourselves, where are we? We're there. Uh, so I set us, I tried to set us about there. We are off by one mile, but that's because we didn't have the accuracy of those extra two digits. But essentially, it took us where we wanted to go, this airbase. So that's it. It's a really simple system, two waypoints max, but you can pretty much get away with that. I hope that helps, and see you later.